In this video I'm going to explain the basics of how auto placement works with grid layout. We've been creating this grid and we haven't actually positioned any of our items on the grid. They've just been laying themselves out in the grid that we've created and they do this because of the auto placement rules that are part of grid layout. So by default items that are direct children of your grid element, they'll be laid out by row. So you can see I've got numbers in these to sort of show the source order. Um, and you can see that being laid out by row here. And they go onto a new row. And we get implicit row tracks to hold them. If I say grid auto flow column, And so I'll need to add some row tracks here for you to really see that working. Something else that we can do is control the order, a bit like with Flexbox. So if we target one of these boxes, let's say nth child 2, and set that to order 1. Now the reason that 2 has ended up last in the list rather than first in the list is because we've given it order 1. The other items don't have an order at all. So if we go down to grid div here and say order 2, that gives all of them an order of 2. So they'll now appear after this one and we're starting because we're going by column. Here's number 1. 2 is already here and we carry on. Um, if we item number four and give it number two and make the rest of them three, you can see now how we have two, then four, and then the rest of the items follow along. And if we change the auto flow back to row, you can see how we have two and four, and then all the rest follow along afterwards. It's important to note that changing the order, just like in Flexbox, that only changes the visual order. It doesn't make any change to the logical order of the document. So you need to be fairly careful when you're doing this that you don't create a disconnect between the source order and the visual display, which could make it difficult for someone, for instance, tabbing around the document.